Now this short video is about one of the most commonly occluded vessels um, when we're thinking about stroke and these are the lenticulostriate or lateral striate arteries. So these are very commonly occluded and occlusion of these can lead to something called a lacuna stroke or a lacuna infarct as you might have heard. Um, so let's remind ourselves that the middle cerebral arteries um, run laterally deep in the hemisphere and as they pass the deep nuclei in the hemisphere they send off a lot of these tiny little perforating branches which pass through the lentiform nucleus and into the um, internal capsule sometimes even penetrating into the thalamus and these are the lenticulostriate vessels and they're really quite numerous um, in the angiogram you can see lots of them here perforating through from the middle cerebral artery and if we look at this corrosion cast in the lower left we can see that there's loads and loads of them and they're absolutely tiny these tiny little branches are the ones which are getting blocked, leading to lacuna infarcts. So these are tiny, thin little branches of the middle cerebral artery, but, they, but blockage of them can lead to quite severe problems. So if we take a look at the image on the lower right, this is from the, page, the brain of a patient who um, had multiple small infarcts in the territory of the lenticulostriate arteries. So all these little holes in the brain here, these are called lacunes, and lacune means lake. So these are tiny little holes formed by blockage of lacuna arteries. So each one of these is a tiny little stroke, okay? And you can see that um, we have some lacunes, for example, um, within the basal ganglia, within the lentiform nucleus here, um, we have some of them within, for example, this little black dot there. Some of them are in the um, internal capsule and some of them are um, near the thalamus, near the thalamus here or the caudate nucleus there. And depending upon where the lacune forms, this can determine what the clinical outcome is likely to be. So, for example, in the case of the little blockage of a vessel at this point in the internal capsule, this is likely to create a pure motor stroke, since the internal capsule mostly contains descending corticospinal projections. We've got many in the thalamus, and if you had one in the thalamus, this could lead to a pure sensory stroke, destroying part of the thalamus, which is an important sensory relay station. Furthermore, if you have one in the basal ganglia, this could potentially lead to features of um, basal ganglia disorder, so Parkinsonian-like features. So this is why the lacuna strokes are so diverse and lead to such different clinical pictures, because the lenticulostriate vessels supply such a large area of very, very eloquent brain. So that's all we've got to say about the lenticulostriate vessels and lacuna infarcts. Thank you.